everyone, welcome to Chicory's Travels. Today I just wanted to take some time to talk about our current electrical setup as far as batteries and inverter go, and then talk about some issues that we noticed on a recent trip that we took. So our current setup is two 12 volt lead acid batteries and a thousand watt inverter. And really all this setup does for us is power our residential refrigerator in times when we don't have it hooked up to a power pedestal and we don't have the generator running. Um, during a recent trip to, to Texas, we were um, basically without power for three weeks um, because of some commitments we had and we were running off of our generator and then trying to run off the batteries um, when we could. And the batteries really did not meet our expectations as far as um, the power requirements that we had. Um, the, they would ch keep the fridge going, but that was just about it, and it would last for maybe five or six hours. So, we were fortunate enough to partner with Battleborn Batteries, and we're going to be installing four 100 amp lithium iron phosphate batteries with a built-in battery management system each 100 amp hours we're going to be putting in a smart solar charge controller with a few solar panels on the roof we're going to be putting in a battery monitoring system so we can keep better track of our usage and the and the batteries we're going to be putting in a progressive dynamics power converter that is built specifically for charging these lithium batteries and then we're also going to be upgrading our thousand watt inverter to a three thousand watt inverter charger from Victron. Over the next few videos I'll be showing the installation of these items and we'll be starting with the lithium batteries. So we're going to be doing a completely custom install on this system starting with the batteries. We're even going to build our own battery cables um, to wire these all together. So let's get started. Okay, now the next step is just to remove the old lead acid batteries. So we'll get started on that. Okay, so before we put the batteries in, one thing we have to do is change the power converter that's on our RV now to one that is um, compatible with uh, lithium batteries. So in our underneath storage, um, I had to remove one of the panels to be able to get to the converter. And I've already shut the power off and um, shut the power off from the batteries and from the power pedestal. So hopefully we're good to go. Okay, so we took out the old converter charger 
and we're putting in the new one. Um, a huge size difference between the two. Um, but like I said, this one is made for lithium batteries, to be compatible with lithium batteries, and the old one was not. Okay, so we got the new converter put in. Um, it's a little small, like we saw in the previous part, it's a little smaller than the old one, so it fit real nice inside this spot. Uh. Okay, so the old batteries are out, new batteries are in, now it's time to connect them all. Okay, so we got the new batteries installed. Um, like I said, all handmade wiring, hooked up the old stuff. Now we'll just check the voltmeter to make sure that we're getting the volts that we need. From And we're getting 13.5 volts, which is right about where they should be running. So, successful battery install. That's it for day one. The next thing we'll do is install the battery monitoring system.